Hello again, YouTubers and Beybladers. 24-7 here again for Beyblades 24-7 with another Beyblade unboxing video brought to you by ToyGameEmporium.com. And for today's unboxing, we have the newest Japanese Beyblade that I've acquired in my most recent meal day. It's Christ Cygnus 145 WD. It is BB-124 and, of course, part of the 4D system. It comes with the light launcher number two, as the majority of the newer Japanese bays do. There is the owner of the bay. I'm sorry, I don't know his name offhand. This is a defensive type bay, as it says there on the package. There's look at all the parts, the stats for those who may care about that sort of thing. There's two different modes, which I'll show you once they get opened. So, and of course, he's battling Big Bang Pegasus, because Big Bang is everywhere. Alrighty, get this opened up, and then we can show you the different modes. And I will try to get some battle videos made today or tomorrow as well. They won't be uploaded today, but I'll try to get some made so I can get them edited and rendered and all that and be ready to go. So I can actually start uploading some of those again because it's been forever. Um, I'll try to do it with somebody else. I got someone kind of lined up for that. So it sounds like people would prefer that I have it where we got two people launching at the same time. So I'll do my best to make that happen for you guys. Because people don't seem to prefer it when I do it with just the just me launching one at a time. And if I use a Duotron launcher, there's a lot less power in the launches than that, and I just don't really like using that. So I'll try to do it with somebody else then. So there's light launcher. I won't bother opening that because we've seen that plenty of times already. There's a look at the sticker sheets. At minimum, I'll try to put the I'll at least put the face bolt sticker on. It actually looks kind of like a swan there. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but see the wing and like the long neck and that. So maybe based on a swan. Although it looks like it's possibly supposed to go this way based on the way the rain is. In which case, I don't really know, but if you go that way, it looks like a swan, a swan to me. But that's just me. Doesn't mean I'm right. Alrighty. So take a look at all the pieces here. Like a lot of the more recent bays, it has its own core. So, first up here, show you the clear wheel. Try to get so it focuses well. You can see it's got, looks like it's got some sparkles within it. Nice shade of blue. Pretty round on the outside there. It's got kind of like the winds or maybe they're flames, I'm not sure. I'm going to guess winds though. You can kind of see that on the, on the ring there. Face bolts, a clear black. And then the core here, which is how you will change the modes. So first up here, upwards like so. This is a defense mode and it can turn, but not all the way. You can see the little like rivets or whatever there kind of stick out, which prevent it from spinning all the way. So it only goes about 90 degrees. So if a bay comes in contact, it may turn and stop. Not sure how that would affect the battle exactly, if that's a good thing or a negative thing. But you can see it turns 90 degrees, doesn't matter where you put it on. You go 90 degrees and stop, you can lift it up a little bit, which won't do in battle obviously. So no matter how you put it on, it goes 90 degrees. That's defensive mode. And if you flip this over, like so, then it's set, it doesn't turn, that's attack mode. I you can put the rest of the stuff on here. 145 so pretty common parts nothing too special about the bottom part here let's see probably put the face bolt in huh 145 wd i think that's the same as fain leon if i remember correctly i know plenty of others have had 145 and or wd wd is the same that yeah um, basalt herogium has herogium still don't know how to say that for sure i hear it's said many different ways Start off saying basalt herogium. I think it's more like herogium. So anyway, there is Christ Cygnus in attack mode. So pretty nice looking bay, in my opinion. You can see it's got some intricate designs there on the sides as well. Other than that, it's fairly smooth throughout. Uh, it's got the like couple of divots in like that. But there's some texture to the side, but not a whole lot. So there is. 
Christ Cygnus. I believe that's how you say it. A lot of people in my comments and have said it's like Christ without the T. I said Chris Cygnus the first time, which I guess is incorrect. So hopefully I'm saying it correct with Christ Cygnus. So if you have not already done so, please subscribe. You can then get email alerts for our future unboxings, battles, and more here on Beyblades 24-7. Give us a big thumbs up for another great Beyblade unboxing video. Check out ToyGamingReport.com and or Amazon store for your Beyblade and our toy and gaming needs. ToyGamingReport.com ships worldwide. Our Amazon store is US only. And stay tuned for battles with this bay and more. Feel free to comment let me know what bays you want to see us battle with. Just because of the newest ones, I'll likely do a battle for Christ Cygnus against Diablo Nemesis in my next battle. Just because they're two newest ones, I haven't used them in battle. But I don't think I've even used uh, Death Cats of Kodal in battles yet anyway. Either. So, I'll try to get a lot of videos pumped out the next, at least recorded the next few days. So I can upload them over the next few weeks. And I can get back to that. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next video.